And we're back in the cut. Your boy Rob Jiggity, my co-host Ben Zeno. Word, my word. boy Keegan's in the building. Uh huh. My boy Tommy Fiji. <laughs> Tommy Fiji's in Tommy the Fiji. building. My boy Matt Zeus. My wow. boy Paris Haven. My, my boy Marcus George. Static. Static. In the building. Static. Static. Let's, Static. Get, let's get to Static. the topic, yo. Let's get to the topic. Little Yachty, nice to meet you. Hey, it's Ben Zeno, the hero, and Lil Yachty dropped a new f- banger. Is this a banger? <laughs> He dropped. He 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 just blessed the World Wide Web with a banger. With a banger? I wouldn't. I wouldn't categorize it a banger. Oh my! It's a good song. It's a good song. Well, hey, Paris, can we have your insight on what, what defines Lil a banger? Did? What really That's defines a banger? All right, all right. So Ooh, the song was um by Burberry Perry. That's uh somebody that Lil Yachty collaborates frequently. Um, he actually dropped the EP this afternoon. And one of the tracks he dropped was called Beautiful Day. It features um, Yachty himself. Mm. Um, surprise feature by, or a little, little co-sign, whatever you want to call it, by uh, Ka- Kylie Jenner's Ka- on Ka- it. Wait, um, wait, what? Jordan, I forget, a la- I forget a last name, and Hadid? Justine Sky. Justine Sky actually is oh. a, a, an actual feature on it. The other two girls just, you know, get on the track for fun. And and the, the, the beautiful thing about this song is that it samples uh, Mr. Rogers' theme song. When I was growing up, Mr. Rogers was Coogee a down? role in our childhood lives. So <laughs> to see these guys sample that in hip hop, honestly, honestly, it was very innovative to me. The song is a fun tune to me. I don't know. It's very fun. Hmm. Coogee down. Yo. Mr. Rogers on the. Yo, Jiggy, you got something to say? Yo. Remember that little B sampled Caillou? Yes. 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 So 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 Lil B actually didn't make that song. Wait, what? That what? Was somebody else trying to be Lil B. You from the pack? I'm serious. That's what I want <laughs> It don't remind you of like a little B type the pack style had hits. song. Y- y'all didn't get that vibe. Uh, the or Caillou from, that, from that, Caillou. The Yachty song. The the song we just listened to. Oh, for, uh, the beautiful day. We, that we didn't get a vibe as in. I said, did y'all get like a little B like vi- vibe like wonton suit? That's what I got off of it. That's not like no wonton suit. That doesn't sound <laughs> like it, but the type of song, like, okay. How about uh, my Mr. car? Rogers. I see what you're saying. It's a bit inspired by the style of Lil B because, you know, Lil B did um pave the way for a lot of these young artists right here, gotcha. SoundCloud artists in specifically. Pave the way for every artist. All right. <laughs> I won't give no credit to Lil B for this, man. Like, people, oh, like, 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 I refer no, credit, credit. Credit, credit for, like, Lil Yachty. Honestly, like Lil Yachty, like he's doing some like bubblegum trap where it's like he takes like some really nursery rhyme sounding simps, puts it on trap drums and chop snares and stuff. And it sounds pretty cool. I mean, like he can't rap. His rapping is garbage, but it knocks. And I, I think I think the song is fire, but I don't think it's like anything with Lil B. Lil B is just whack and the production is whack. Matt, whoa, you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Keegan, talk your piece. I'm hurt. But I'm hurt so, by say the your Lil piece. B slander. Paris is on you. Don't ever disrespect Lil B. I'm mm-hmm. heard by the Lil B slander. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Yo, what I, I want to hear? What I want to hear? I want to hear someone sample Blues Clues. Blues Clues was my show in the day, bro. <laughs> <laughs> really? They need to sample Blues Clues. What, do you, what are you going to... What from... The, I don't know, but Blues Clues... What, you, you going to sample Mail show. Time? <laughs> mail time. Mail. If you slow down, yeah, mail time. Chop, you can chop and screw baby. mail time. You can say, we just got a letter. Yo, that'd be fire. <laughs> we just got. <laughs> Tell me that wouldn't be fire. We just got a letter. You just put some boom. But we just. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's in the cut, man. You never know what's going down on in the cut, man. Say she sample blues clues. We sample in blues clues. That's that's catastrophic. <laughs> I'm about to go through Nickelodeon's whole catalog and just start working. <laughs> Nick through. Jr. at that. The entire Nick Jr. <laughs> should be sampled. Nick Jr. Oswald. <laughs> Oswald. Oswald. <laughs> the octopus. You remember that show? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, they need to sample Ed and Eddie next. Mm. Uh, mm. What's the intro to Ed and Eddie song like? Oh, and Courage the Cowardly Dog. Cartoon Network should just put out an instrumental <laughs> of all you their... You fool! That's that of all their the beats. Intro. That's what Double D fool. You an idiot. <laughs> Yo, Cartoon Network should just put out an instrumental of all their... Of all their song intros, chopped and screwed. Mm. Chopped and screwed. Chopped and screwed. That would be funny. Call it Bartoon Network. 
What's cracking on Bar Network? It's Bar Network. Bar Network. Uh, W-I-B-R. We out here. <laughs> Marcus, why are you saying that like it's on Neighborhood? <laughs> why are you saying that like it's on Neighborhood? <laughs> <laughs> Swear on neighborhood. <laughs> oh yeah. Um. Any other songs y'all would like to see remixed and stuff like that or nah? Any other you know? Dora next. Dora has to be next. Oh, Why? <laughs> it's wild. Do do the dudes from Dora. I'm not trying to hear all them do do the dudes. Nah. The grumpy troll. <laughs> the troll toy. I'm a grumpy old troll. <laughs> that is under the bridge. That, <laughs> that that needs to get sampled. Yo, Matt, any anime? You know, any anime um, realm you want to see? I was telling Paris just now. I have a Courage of Cali dog song I'm working on. Oh, it's from um, one of the puppet. It's like, the, um, I forgot. It's like the end of season two. The puppet episode with some crocodile. Like, it turned them all into puppets. And has an accordion in it. And I'm like trying to... And I, I sampled the accordion and stuff, so I'm trying to work with that. And I have a bunch of anime beats. And how was that? A, how was that? A re- how was me breaking on a beat or reach? <laughs> I got, I got, I got um like two Naruto beats, and I have um a Yu Yu Hakusho, a Yu Yu Hakusho beat. My man got beats. Nah, nah, he got he, he's yeah, working he's working on it. Nah, he got beats. You gotta, the, you gotta go to the you got Gundam Wing in the in the. I have no gun to wing. Like I, have, like I download whole anime and video game soundtracks, and then I try to pick apart like what would be a good sample. But I don't have gun to wing yet. I work through something. Gun to wing, Samurai Jack for the culture one time. Mm. Samurai, Jack. Samurai Jack would be dope. <laughs> what do you guys think of sampling in hip hop now? The way, the, the direction of sampling, having different elements. You know, sampling used to be you take an old R and B record and you mix it up. Now we're seeing different type of media in sampling. What do you guys think of that? Even with like. Interviews being used like Farrakhan and stuff like that with Meek Mill, just for an example. What do you guys think of incorporating samples, interviews, stuff like that into a song? I think if I think if you're gonna pull from somebody else's work, you have to do it like correct properly, you know, exactly. with permission and all that stuff. A lot of people throw in samples just like not to talk about views again, but I don't think that DMX sample is pretty smart. <laughs> like, not the move at nah, all. Cause DMX wants Drake's head too, so I don't really know how that how that came about. But I mean, I've heard samples where it's like the song to, to switch tracks. It's like when Mario went down into the tunnel and mm-hmm. like when he's collecting coins, like that Whoa, stuff. Cool yeah. So yeah, I like to hear interesting samples, but the samples have to also stay true to what the original piece was about, and. uh <clears throat> If you're gonna sample, make sure it's fire. Sure I ha- I hate I hate hearing whack samples. Especially of fire songs. Yeah. Ooh. Yo, Paris, any thoughts about sampling? You got any thoughts, Paris? I think lately, um, I'm liking this whole video game sampling that I'm hearing mm-hmm. lately from exactly. artists Talk like Kyle. That. Um, we talked about Lil Yachty too. Uh, he actually sampled uh Super Mario 64 on his latest on his latest Dope. mixtape, Lil Boat the mixtape. That's what it's called. And Kyle, he's using a lot of um, Super Mario uh, world samples from um, uh, Super Nintendo, which is I think is really innovative so far in this um, generation of hip hop. So I'm hoping to see more video game samples as well. And shout out to Drake for using you know '90s and 2000 samples, so um, R&B samples too. So that's cool. You wouldn't see an established artist like take a risk with these samples, you know, put in that type of feature on a song. Like even what what's a uh, Oh man, what's that Drake song? The one with like the Mario theme with it? Oh wait, wait, wait. That's not Mario. Right? Um, are you talking about you know, are you talking about Six God? Yeah. Uh, Six God. from Duncan Country to the Haunted Chase um track. Even with like like yeah, like Drake putting like using a sample like that, you wouldn't see I wouldn't see Kanye doing stuff like that. I wouldn't even see, you know, maybe Fab, even though you have it in um Summertime Sadness, he used uh, a little sample, but not to an extent of like Throughout the whole entire song, the sample was uh, relevant. That's more of an up and coming thing where the artist trying to reach out and do a sample. Paris. I mean, also you got to give credit to Kanye because on I mean, on Dark Fantasy, he he uh, sampled a uh, progressive rock song. Um, uh, twenty what is it? Uh, twenty first century schizoid man by uh, King Crimson. Like I've never really seen a lot of hip hop artists use progressive rock, um, different genres of rock too. So that's also cool to see in hip hop as well. What about the Kanye sample on Famous with the sister Nancy at the end with the the bomb bomb? 
Mama mia. Uh, that 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 uh sample at the end of Apollo. I think Kanye is like the most innovative sampler when it comes to flipping on an original song and reworking it into a song that you don't like. You sometimes can't even tell until you mm-hmm. strip it apart and stuff. Dude was like that too, just like the sampling and stuff like that. Well, I, one of the early Kanye, I, I forgot the reference, but I'll give it to you one day. It was like they were. Uh, it was like, yeah, he made this song, and Dill was like, no, because that's my drums. It was just like, because he just doubled the drums. Uh, Tommy, you got something to say? No, my bad. Oh, what? Sorry, my fault. <laughs> Wait, you need, to, fault. you need to raise your hand if you want to talk here? No, I was, you, you don't, you don't got to raise your hand, like Tommy. I was feeling like Birdman, I was saying, because I keep moving it. I keep touching it and being like, whoa. My fault. It's, it's yeah, put some respect on in the cut, man. We, we just trying to build a culture fault, and foundation fault. and stuff like that. That's bad, yo, yo, final man, thoughts on... On sampling? Oh, what, well, you want to end the segment? <clears throat> yeah, I think, I think the segment oh, okay. is going a little too long. It's on you, Jiggity. Yo, Yo Matt. <laughs> <laughs> nah, somebody who um, produces music and stuff, I do think that samples should be used to like, a certain extent, like use it to complement the beat, or you could like build some melody off of it, but like I don't think that like a certain artist like sometimes like, make an entire beat off a of sample and just add some drums to it. I feel like if, you, like, if you're a little bit innovative with it, like, try to flip it, try to speed it up a little bit, depending on what song it is, then, you know... Nah, I definitely approve of it. I agree with that. And a lot of times um, people like to loop samples and just, you know, do, you know, just ro- rock with that one sample and just add drums like Matt said. But you know what I'd like to see? How NWA, like um, artists back in the 80s used to just chop up samples and throw them together, throwing random pieces and sounds together. I'd like to see that. That kind of be cool to see back in hip hop as well. Team Static, any thoughts? Team Static, any thoughts? I believe so. <laughs> um, yeah, I think like Rob said, um, if the sample is like fire, it's gonna be fire. <laughs> um, if it kind of like relates to the original song, I kind of like it too. But kind of like I like how artists take like a, a song that I wouldn't necessarily listen to and then make it into something fire. So as long as it's like very like innovative and it just like you said, like how we're using like video games and interviews is just showing how like what the direction of music is going into Tommy any final life thoughts life thoughts yeah give drink me drink Fiji water That's in it. the cut Benzino the hero Rob Jiggity Tommy Fiji Free Keegan Paris Haven Zeus Wilson Marcus George Static in the cut Static